all guys. We're here out here at Oakland Airport. About to head out. Heading to Hawaii, man. It is the time. I am with the fam. With the fam a lama lama ding dong. The fam a lama 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 ding dong. Oh. So, <laughs> so where am I going? So he's gonna take care of that? So yeah. Let's uh let's get to this. Let's get to the bunker. To the chopper! I'm excited. Talk to you guys in a minute. I'm excited. Good vacation. Yes. Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> So after that great breakfast, we headed over to Kalua, Kona, to holler at our friends at Susumus. If you're going to ever learn how to fish the island, you have to talk to the locals. They're the only ones that can put you on the fish. I repeat, they're the only ones. Alright, so these are to target uh, inshore species uh, in Hawaii. Now you got your curly tails, you have your straights, and these are for mackerel. So when you want to catch some bait, 
you got these little guys with the two pound test, four pound test. Mm -hmm. These you want to run a little bit bigger, maybe 10 to 12 as your leader. Mm -hmm. And what you're targeting is these uh, GTs or like Trevali that we call Omilu, Papio, Lua, and they'll hit these behind the lid or behind the bubble. And now the bubble is working on the surface yeah. and you want to make a big splash, you want to stop it, they're going to come in and hit that. With the lid, you're kind of dredging the bottom or mid, mid water and you're going to get more so goatfish and moi, you're going to get uh, smaller stuff that's going to be more deeper feeders mm -hmm. as opposed to getting the GTs, just like the surface, a lot of surface action, a lot of like splashes. I would run maybe a liter about you know, three feet. Three feet long a liter? So yeah, uh, with the lid I'll go a little longer, maybe about a fathom. What about and a half. weight? Uh, with the weights, one ounce or 1.5 is kind of ideal. Egg drop? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one that slides up and down the line. So you run that to a swivel on your main line and you clip the leader to this. And so for the hooks, we have the AHs, we have the lean rigs. So for a lure that size, I'm like this, like a Maruto MZ. Okay. So this style right here is kind of the common style that we use here. And it's almost like a circle hook, but it's not so like a limerick, where limericks are a lot straighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this actually, in my opinion, gets a better hookup. These work, and yes, they will handle fish, but when the fish that you're targeting with those lures. You want that to catch yeah, that jaw, right? Yeah, it's almost like a self-setting hook. Okay. So as far as these, it's, uh, you know, you got a piece of bait or a piece of shrimp on there and, you know, a lot of uh, tension required. Do you want that light pole or do you want one that's kind of stiff? So depending on what you're going for, you want something in the medium range. Okay. Yeah, because then you can cover the light aspect and you can cover the uh, heavier aspect. So, as far as what you're going after, which would be like Trevally, maybe like anywhere from two to five pounds. Sometimes they get up to like 10, 20 pounds. Oh, so when you start hooking, oh, there's some monsters out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all shoreline too. So. Do y'all have like halibut out here too? Uh, we have a flounder actually, not halibut, but uh, the flounders here don't get as big. Maybe about yeah, big. <laughs> they they cruise on the bottom. They like to eat shrimp and like small fish. So if you ever uh, Get in a big bait school. So this is what you, are you talking about? The, that's the fish. This is a moy. So this is the one he was talking about earlier, and they're a bottom feeder. So you want to work the bottom with the lead, with the egg drop. Uh, snow retrieve, nice and steady, so you don't hook the bottom. Are they hanging close on the ledge? Uh, yeah, they love the white water. So okay. anywhere with the white water, you know, or kind of like a bay or estuary where there's a little surge, some surf, uh, most likely you'll find those there. Man, I'm ready. I'm ready. And these guys are the ones that. It's like the number one shoreline fish, especially for Hawaii. And those are what's gonna hit the top water here. So they like splashes, they like flashing. Oh, so, they, so they're looking for movement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really spiny fish, man. They, they put up a great fight. And what is this shop called? So this is Susumo's Tapo. Susumo's Tapo. So what's the location? So we're in Kona, next to Rainbow Cafe near Costco. Okay. Yeah. So I get small. Uh, uh, what's the, uh, give the address. Oh, our address is 73. 5612 Kauhola Street. Oh, that's good. You heard it. Come on, man. Come rock with these guys. <laughs>
rolling. The Shimano F FX with the Daiwa Crossfire 300C. going on i'm over here at paradise i met a good guy named john What's up, so if you're ever at paradise uh, lounge or just paradise bar brewing company paradise brewing company paradise brewing company you know he came through with the strongs you know what i'm saying if you're not here rocking with the jmo i don't know what you're doing you got to start your day with some whiskey you know what i'm saying but yeah come check this guy out he's gonna be here uh he's actually hella cool nice conversation he didn't, he didn't uh, get on me for just trying to use the bathroom. <laughs> so I made it. I made it. <laughs> but either way, let's go. We're going to start this fishing day. Love y'all. Using some live bait, broke some shells. Let's see what happens. I read, caught a fish. Whew. Caught a fish. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, shit. Good. Good. Back up, back up. Caught a fish, baby. Got another one. Got another one. What is it called? Hoggy? Stay fish? Hoggy.
Got him. Got him. Got him. Sheep head. That ain't a beauty. That was biggie, huh? Ocean Sea. They got teeth, though. And he broke, I broke off on that, did it? Does that mean I had? guys i caught i caught some fish and that felt good i finally got the skunk out of hawaii and i caught some fish and as long as i did that this mission is complete